Okay, in today's video, we are going to go over electric potential difference for point charges. Now, you remember in the previous video, if you didn't get a chance to see the previous video, you can link to the previous video right here. But in the previous video, we went over what electric potential is, and we said that electric potential is the electric potential energy per unit of charge. Now, this video is about electric potential difference, and the definition for that is simply the change in electric potential energy per unit of charge. And it's the change in electric potential energy per unit of charge as we move that charge from one location to another location around our central charge particle that is creating the potential. So we're just going to look at the potential at A and then the potential at B and kind of compare those two. Okay? Now, also in the previous video, I went over and showed you that this is the equation, V, for calculating potential. V stands for potential, and the potential is equal to K times Q, the amount of charge for the central charge that's creating the potential, divided by the distance away from that central charge. So we're going to look at the change. So we're going to have one distance and then another distance, and we're going to compare the potential at those two points. Now, when we talk about electric potential difference, what we really mean is the change in potential. Okay, And the change in potential is calculated using this equation, delta V, delta. This triangle means the change. V is for potential, so it's the change in potential. And we have to be very careful because the change in potential is the final potential minus the initial potential. It's not really just the difference. We're going to be moving from A to B or from B to A, and we always have to do final minus initial. We have to keep our signs straight, and sometimes we can have negative, and sometimes we can have positive changes in potential. So in this video, we're going to use a model of a hydrogen atom to go through electric potential difference. Now, in a hydrogen atom, we have a central nucleus, and in that nucleus, there's a single proton. That's our charged particle that's going to be creating our potential. The charge on a proton is plus 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. Then, this first ring is supposed to represent the first energy level. That is at a distance of 5.29 times 10 to the minus 11 meters away from our central proton. And then we have this second ring, which represents the second energy level, and the second energy level is 2.12 times 10 to the minus 10 meters away from our charged particle, from our proton that's in the nucleus. Okay? Now, I want to do three things in this video. I want to compare the potential at A to the potential at B. I want to look at and calculate the change in potential as we go from A to B or B to A, and then, finally, we're going to look at the change in electric potential energy of the proton as it goes from the first energy level to the second energy level, and also from the second energy level to the first energy level. Okay? So, here we go. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to compare the potential at A to the potential at B. And as we said in the previous slide, this is the equation. The potential is equal to KQ the amount of charge on our central charge, this is Q, capital Q, divided by the distance from the charge. We're going to calculate the potential at A and then the potential at B. The potential at A is simply equal to Coulomb's constant, 9 times 10 9 Newton meter squared Coulomb squared, times the amount of charge, the charge that's creating the potential, divided by the distance away from that charge, and then you get that the potential at A is plus 27.2 volts. Okay, now, before we go on, I want to point out that I put a plus sign here and a plus sign here for emphasis. Normally, when we write positive numbers, we don't write plus signs. But we can have negative potential and we can have positive potential. So I put that there for emphasis because, as you know, the potential around a positive charge is always positive. If this was a negative charge, and as you know, the potential around a negative charge is always negative. So we want to be sure that we realize that this potential is positive. Now we're going to calculate the potential at B. The potential at B is simply Coulomb's constant times the charge that's pre creating the potential divided by the distance. Now the distance is different in this case. It's greater, 
So now we know the potential at B is plus 6.79 volts. Okay, so the potential when you're close to a positive charge, the potential is high, 27.2. And then as you move away, the potential decreases. In this case, it decreases to plus 6.79 volts. And of course, it would continue to decrease until we're infinitely far away. The potential at a distance that's infinitely far away from our central charge is zero. Okay, so at A, we have a plus 27.2, and at B, we have minus 6.7, excuse me, minus, plus 6.79 volts for the potential at each of those locations. Now, in the next slide, we're going to calculate the change in potential. And we're going to calculate the change as we move from A to B, and then from B to A. So, of course, for our equation, we're going to use the change in potential is equal to the final potential, minus the initial potential. Remember, it's always final minus initial. It's not just the difference between the two. So when we go from A to B, B is our final and A is our initial, put our values in, they're both positive, 6.79 minus 27.2, and you can see we have a minus potential or a negative potential. Now let's just see, as we go from A to B, does that make sense? We said earlier the potential here was 27.2, the potential here is 6.79, both of those being positive. So the change in the potential is negative because as we go from A to B, the potential decreases by 20.4 volts. And that has to be a negative sign. So remember your negative and positives. Remember it's always final minus initial. Now you should recognize as we go from B to A, from the second energy level to the first energy level, a is going to be our final, and B is going to be our initial. And if we plug the values in, you'll notice that the potential increases. As we go from B to A, we get a positive change in potential, which means the potential increases by 20.4. So the magnitude of the, of the change is the same, but in one case, as we go from A to B, it decreases. And in the other case, as we go from B to A, the potential increases. Okay, so that's why we got to use final minus initial. Now, in the third slide, we're going to look at the change in potential energy of this electron as it moves from the first energy level to the second energy level, and then as it moves from the second energy level to the first energy level. When we calculate the change in potential, this is the equation we use. The change in electric potential energy is equal to the amount of charge that's being moved through the potential. Okay, so the charge in this case is a proton and the charge, excuse me, electron, and the charge on electron is minus 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. And it's important that you remember this minus sign. We'll show you that. So the change in potential energy, which is also equal to the amount of work that we would do, is equal to the amount of charge, the charge on the electron, times the potential through which it is moved. Now you have to remember, up here we have, in one case, when we go from A to B, the potential is negative. When we go from B to A, the potential is positive. So let's calculate first the change in electric potential energy of this electron as it moves from A to B. So this says the change in electric potential energy from A to B is equal to the amount of charge times the potential difference, the change in potential from A to B, and that equals minus 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19, the charge on our electron, times minus 20.4 volts. When we go from A to B, the potential decreases. Now, it's important to recognize we have a minus and a minus, and we multiply those two together, we get a positive number. So when we go, when we move the electron, when the electron moves from the first energy level to the second energy level, it's getting farther away, and it has an increase of 3.26 times 10 to the minus 18 joules. Now let's see, does that make sense? This is a negative charge, this is a positive charge. They want to be close together. If we move them farther apart, if we move the negative charge to a place it doesn't want to be, then its potential energy is going to increase. And in this case, the change in electric potential energy is equal to plus 3.26 times 10 to the minus 18 joules. It's just like mechanics and gravitational potential energy. When you lift an object off the Earth's surface, 
It doesn't want to be off the Earth's surface. In order to lift it off the Earth's surface, you have to do positive work and you give it a positive change in potential energy. It's the same thing with this electron and this proton. They don't want to be separated. So when you separate them, you have to do positive work and therefore it's a positive change in potential energy. Okay, now let's look at what would happen or what the change in electric potential energy would be if we move that electron from the second energy level to the first energy level. So that is the electric potential energy, excuse me, the change in electric potential energy from B to A equals the amount of charge, which is the charge on the, pro on the electron, times the potential through which it moves. Well, you remember the charge on the electron is negative. The potential through which it moves when we go from B to A is positive. So therefore, the change in electric potential energy of the electron when it goes from the second energy level to the first energy level is minus 3.26 times 10 to the minus 19. You'll notice the magnitude of the change is the same, but in this case, we're bringing the object, the electron, back to where it wants to be closer to that positive charge. Just like when you lower something back down to Earth, it has a change in potential energy that is negative. Okay? You do negative work. In this case, when you go, when the electron goes from the second energy level to the first energy level, it wants to be closer to the proton in the center of that atom, so therefore it has a negative change in electric potential energy. Okay? So it's important, as I've pointed out, to keep the positive and the negative signs on your charges and the positive and the negative signs on your changes in potential so that you come out with the correct sign for your change in electric potential energy. All right, so keep track of that. I don't think it's too hard. Just remember, use your negatives and positives. All right, we did all three of those things. We compared the potential, we looked at the change in potential, and then we looked at the change in electric potential energy. And I think we did that in less than 10 minutes. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that video helpful. If you found that video helpful, please give me a thumbs up or a nice positive comment in the comment section below. And we'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much.